Hello, hello, and welcome to day 39 of this Unity Game Development Journal. So, today was spent um, trying to look at cleaning up how um, a lot of these things are going to be moving forward for the map. So what I did was I went through and I created um, some prefabs. So I have some overworld uh, chunk prefabs which contain an overworld um, you know, container, which just has a chunk controller which sets the coordinate that both the foreground and background use. So there's two meshes for each. I set up the materials for each, all the meshes for the foreground and the background, and then set up all these prefabs. So once you have the prefabs, the next thing is the scenes. So I went through and I have all the scenes here, and the scenes just use the, um, the prefab here. So the scene for zero, zero coordinate, uses that prefab with the foreground and the background. That way, if I do want to adjust something, I can just go into the prefabs instead of having to go right into the scene. Just a much quicker way of just uh, optimizing development and things like that. And there are, there are other ways that I can improve this, but for now I wanted to have that done. And I actually did fool around with creating the uh, chunks and different sizes. The way I wrote the code is I can simply go into um, the, let's see here, world controller, I believe it is. Um, or is it the game controller? Oh, the game controller. So I did have a chunk size originally set up, so I went through everything and split up into a chunk size X and a chunk size Y. And then I tested if I did the 16 by 9, uh, you know, aspect ratios, where I did that into the chunk size as well. So I did a different X to a different Y, just to see how that worked out. And magically, because I wrote the code properly, all I did was just change these two numbers, and then it created the chunks and all the textures and everything was updated automatically uh, on the fly. And it was okay, it didn't really seem that much different, except for where the cuts were, uh, the map, you know, redesigning the map for the cuts would be important. But um, I found that it took longer to load the transitions, like with maybe half a second longer, and I didn't really like that. So I have debated on whether I was going to prefab the map material, like the actual chunk size, um, meshes and things like that, but I think I'm going to leave it dynamically generated so that if I do want to change things later on or add different textures or add different um, tile sets or anything like that, then I'll just automatically update dynamically inside the game. So I'm probably going to leave it like that. So I want to keep the loading time as minimal as possible. So the chunk size of the 32 by 32 still makes sense there. Um, the next thing I did was I went and I redid all of the character. Um, let's see here the character sprites. So I did um, two versions. This is my latest version. I did another one where it was more of a square uh, character. So maybe I can open up all of them so you can see the differences. So I'll show you the first one. So this is what we started out with. This is what I've been working on like for the first month I was creating these ones. And then I moved and today I created the second set here which was a much more square or a fat, it was a four by three block um, character. So this one didn't work out at all, I didn't like it. So then I went and tried another version of the character, uh, this one, which is m much more close to the original design, um, but it, it now it takes in the proportions of my map and I'm using a, a two by three ratio for the character. So it, it completely uh, matches and ties directly into the map scaling and the um, collision scaling. So let's go through and see what we got here. So we'll just switch back to the main scene here. Hit play and we'll get our main menu pop up. New game and it'll load the thing. Okay, so now here's our character. So why don't we go into full screen so we could see this thing a little bit better. Okay, so we got our character. Not much different. Like it is a different. It is actually set to a specific, a specific uh, aspect ratio, like a, a proportion. So which is nice instead of just being random. Um, and it ties directly into our map now because now you can see I don't have any overlapping, and it works perfectly with um, you know going behind the object. The boots don't show through anymore, and the map it works perfectly like here and here. Great. There's a couple things in the building I'm going to do for just collision wise, but I didn't get around to doing it, but that'll fix some of that stuff. The bush, I don't, I no longer cut through that bush anymore. 
Um, the only one I do cut through is this, which is a simple change on the graphics. You can see here. All I have to do is just modify that so that the um, the top layer doesn't um, comes down a little bit more into the stump instead of just being the top little section. Because the way I did that one is I only do like an um, a 16 pixel, I believe it is, or maybe it was 32. I don't remember. But I only do a small chunk along the top. I don't do an entire tile, which is why that was happening there. I think if you come down here, there it is. So yeah, if you come at it a certain way, once you're up here, it's fine. But if you come at it from this side, you're not getting, you're not, I don't know, it's just a little bit weird. So I can fix that easily. Other than that, I went through and I have all of the scenes now with the, um, with the top layer done. So every single one of them has the proper um, setup for the scene. There's a couple of tiles missing. I still have to go into the map and fix it. But I haven't done that because I know I'm going to be modifying this map quite a bit. So you can see like all these things have their foreground layers done. Um, there's a couple things, like I said, in the tile map that have, has to be done. Like here, there's a missing tile. That's why it's weird like this. Um, but just essentially, this is done. So that's what I did today. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to continue on with the cleanup of all this stuff. I might go in and, and I'm not too sure what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'll figure that out. But for now, I'm very happy the character is proportioned properly. So that step is done. Um, I made the chunks all complete, so all um, 25 of them are ready to rock and roll. So, um, you know, the game is moving along quite nicely. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, Day 39 done. So if you want to follow along with the game development, please subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you like the video, drop us a like. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.